Students, it's Shayna, your teacher from EspressoEnglish.net. And today I want to answer a really interesting question. First of all, if you are here with me watching live, then please like this video so that I know that you are in my class. Well, a student asked me, when we use the auxiliary verb do in the positive? Let me explain. So normally in English, when we're talking about, say, the present simple, we form the sentences like this. They study in the positive. They don't study in the negative. And when asking a question, we ask, do they study? So normally we use the auxiliary verb do and don't only in the negative, sorry, only in the negative and in the questions. But my student asked, she said, sometimes I see people say, they do study using the auxiliary verb in the positive. When would we say it like this? Well, there actually is an answer for this. So remember, normally we don't use do in the positive, only in the negative, don't, and in the question. But sometimes we do say a sentence like they do study. We say it like this when we want to give extra emphasis to the positive, usually after a corresponding negative sentence. Let me give you an example to make it clearer. Let's say that I have some students and they, a lot of my students didn't pass a test. And I'm talking about this situation with another teacher. And the other teacher says, well, the problem is they don't study. I could respond arguing with this other teacher or disagreeing with her. They do study. The problem is that the test is too hard. Okay, so the other teacher expressed a negative opinion. They don't study. And to make a contrast with her negative opinion, I gave a positive one. They do study. So instead of just saying they study, I added the word do for extra emphasis, okay? You'll see this a lot in arguments and disagreements. For example, if you have a boyfriend and a girlfriend who are having an argument and the girlfriend might say, you don't care about my feelings. And the boyfriend might respond, I do care in order to emphasize that positive statement in contrast with her negative statement, okay? Sometimes you'll even see one person making both a negative and then a positive statement using don't in the negative and then do to emphasize the contrast with the positive. Let me give you an example for that. Let's imagine that I'm teaching an English class which ends at four o'clock. But after the class, I'm going to have a review session for the test. But the review session is optional, so it's not required. The students can choose if they want to stay for the review session or just leave at four o'clock at the end of the class. So at four o'clock, I might say something like this. If you don't want to stay for the review session, then you can leave now. If you do want to stay, then we'll take a five minute break and then start the review. Okay, so I made one negative statement. If you don't want to stay, you can leave. And then I made one positive statement using do for extra emphasis. If you do want to stay for the review, then we'll start in five minutes, okay? So remember, normally in English, we do not use do in the positive. We would just say they study. But when we want to give extra emphasis to the positive after making a negative statement or after someone else makes a negative statement, then we can add the auxiliary verb do for extra emphasis, okay? So if you don't want to learn any more English, then you can stop watching this video now. But if you do want to learn more, then make sure to check out all of my courses. I have courses on vocabulary, speaking, listening, pronunciation, idioms, and much, much more. So you can click the link in this video to see the available courses, take some sample lessons, and sign up. Thank you for the question. Thank you for watching. I hope that you will like and share this video with other English learners. See you next time.